Traffic is a day-to-day -day problem that we deal with and is now an accepted part of life. Whether it may be early morning traffic with the hustle and bustle of the crowd, or simply an inconsiderate driver that has parked badly along the roadside, there are many causes of traffic congestion in Trinidad. However, for the purpose of this video, only a few of these causes were discussed. These include roadblocks, increasing motorization, peak hour traffic, CBD, and poor parking. Roadblocks can result from many situations. Fixing of roads, routine police inspection, a sporting event, or even a protest. During these times, there is a decrease in the flow of traffic. Parking. This is sadly a very common occurrence and is due to inconsiderate drivers. These persons park very inappropriately along the roadside and cause a disruption in the flow of vehicles and thus always resulting in undue traffic. CBD, the Central Business District, is a place of public importance. This is where many public services and needs are met. Thus, there is a continuous movement of people in and out of that area and as a result, the formation of traffic. Increased motorization and peak hour traffic goes hand in hand. For the past few years, due to the introduction of foreign used cars, many more people are now able to purchase a vehicle. This in itself is a good thing. However, there are many more vehicles on the road and during peak hours, early morning and late evening, this contributes greatly to traffic congestion. There are many effects of traffic. One such effect is irate drivers. For a driver stuck in traffic, it becomes a nuisance and one can become very agitated. This leads to drivers developing road rage and causes inconsiderate driving practices. Another effect of traffic is pollution. Traffic contributes to pollution mainly in the form of air pollution. The exhaust of cars contains carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, and burnt hydrocarbons and carbon particles. All these are greenhouse gases and thus contribute to global warming. You might have noticed that these days, traffic is a lot worse than it used to be. It can be reduced or even eliminated by the implementation of the following solutions. Public transportation is more efficient and produces less congestion since the number of private vehicles on the roads decreases, which causes buses on the same roads to become more efficient and further decreases road congestion. The water taxi is used to provide public transport, which uses the Gulf as a sea bridge between Port of Spain and San Fernando. The primary objective of this service is to provide an alternative mode of transport between coastal cities of Port of Spain, San Fernando, and the borough of Point Fortin in a bid to ease traffic congestion along the north-south corridor and ultimately the east-west corridor. Another solution could be creating more roads and overpasses. If we build more roads and overpasses, then the system will have more capacity, which would evidently decrease traffic congestion. This concludes our video presentation on traffic congestion in Trinidad. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Fellas come down from New York, come to join in the old talk Now they hit the traffic jam, man they mess up the program Traffic block over here so, traffic block over there so Man is everywhere you go, traffic jamming up for so He don't have no place to pass, man the place to play the mass Now we ready for action, we get stuck in traffic jam Be holding the traffic, blocking the traffic